Coming up next on Access Framingham TV is Framingham Fan to Fan, where we discuss all things sports in Framingham. Today we're going to talk hoops and homework and the Boston Marathon with guests from both the program and several marathon runners. Stay tuned. This is going to be fast paced. <laughs> This is Framingham Fan to Fan on Access Framingham TV. Hi, I'm Dave Hornfisher, a Framingham sports fan, and I'm pleased to host this interview show whose purpose is to highlight those who are involved in Framingham sports at all levels. We hope through this show to increase awareness and ideally fan support of these fun sporting events, but also to help use sports to achieve our station's goal of building community. Today we've got a rather unique show it's a show that's going to feature three Boston Marathon runners who are running to support Framingham's renowned Hoops and Homework program, a great program for kids. Welcome to Framingham Fan to Fan. You're a little far away. I'll just give you high fives or something. But uh, my uh, first guest here is uh, Herb Chasen, who was the founder and now the director of uh, Hoops and Homework. And uh, Herb, why don't you just uh, start by telling us a little bit about how you started the program and, a little, and give us a little overview of what Hoops and Homework is all about. Okay, I'll try to make it short and sweet. So I've lived in Framingham for 51 years, and uh, about five years ago, well, six years ago, I had an opportunity to visit some of the uh, poorest uh, neighborhoods, low-income neighborhoods in downtown Framingham, which I'd never seen before. And we had a great opportunity with empty rooms to start these after-school programs. And uh, we went to town meeting, and some miracle happened, and we got $81,000 to start the programs. And uh, right now, we've been running for almost uh, five and a half, six years, and it's been really exciting and wonderful, and we are so thrilled this year, for the second year in a row, to have uh, these folks here that are going to run and raise money for the program to keep it going. And uh, so that's a little bit of a background there. I think we're going to put, out, draw, put up a couple of pictures on the monitor here of some of the kids and some of the stuff that happens in, uh, in Hoops and Homework. And, and while, they're, while these pictures are just kind of zipping through, maybe you can just talk a little bit about some of them. Uh, this is clearly Hoops. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, our program is licensed by the state of Massachusetts. And as part of the license, we have to have uh, qualified teachers and we have to have outside programs including basketball and there you see yoga so we this is part of what we have to do it's a fully um, and we have basketball that's so part of the hoops of it that's part of the, of the hoops along right. with the hula hoops <laughs> along with hula hoops any kind of outside uh, exercise and of course we do academics and other enrichment programs so uh, it's a big deal. And that's one of your basketball players. There is a basketball player. He can't wait to get out there and play. We have two courts. We have a brand new court that we opened up in the fall of 2016. And there's uh, Mr. Ricky Finley doing some <laughs> coaching there. Uh, and of course, the marathon right now is the big, big deal to uh, help us raise money for our staff and food and uh, enrichment activities. Okay, so we're so we've got uh, we we've got three members of the marathon team here today. Uh, why don't you all just kind of introduce yourselves and t just give us a couple of words about yourself and what you're doing when you're not running marathons. <laughs> Start. Leslie. Hi, my name is Leslie White Harvey, and I have two daughters. I this is my second. Um, year running the Boston Marathon for Hoops and Homework. I ran for them last year. This is my third Boston Marathon, and this is my fourth marathon overall. I run for the Marine Corps as well. I love running. That's kind of what I do. I like to dance as well. I, when I'm not running, I'm taking care of my family, and I'm an educator at the Natick Public Schools. That's great. And uh, Priscilla, why don't you go next? Um, my name is Priscilla. I have been a resident here of Framingham for over 20 years. Um, I was originally born in Brazil, um, but I came here at a very young age. I went to Potter Road Elementary, um, very familiar with um, our, our Framingham Public Schools. 
and uh, currently I uh, own and operate a small business in downtown Framingham with my family. Well, what kind of business is that? So we do a, um, we're an independent shop for Comcast. Oh. So we're there to help you look at your bill, open up new services, pretty much and anything tell except people, And tell people they should watch Access Framingham. <laughs> and tell people, we usually have there Access Framingham go. on in the store. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and over on the far side is Joe, why don't you... Uh... Hi, Joe Kynock is Hi, my Joe. name. I live in uh, Knobscott. Um, I'm a townie. I grew up in Framingham, born and raised in Framingham. Uh, lived here most of my life, um, oh. back and forth. Uh, and I'm running the marathon, Boston Marathon, as part of the Team Framingham um, group that's running it for um, the lottery, got the lottery tickets for uh, the bibs from the Team Framingham. Also, oh, also, oh, you had to win the right to be in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, uh, so I'm, I, this is the second time I'm running for Hoops and Homework. Uh, third time I'm running the marathon, the <coughs> Boston Marathon, the marathon, um, and overall my fourth marathon. Uh, I figured once I hit 60 or so, I, I would take up a new sport, and that was running to try to keep me going. And um, so I like running. I like uh, supporting hoops and homework. My wife's involved in the program as well, and um, I'm looking forward to the I'm not looking forward to the training, but, um, you know, it's something that I do. I think it's part of me now that uh, this running is and uh, running the marathons and running long races. And uh, I understand you know. there's 10 of you who are going to be doing this for Hoops and Homework this year? Is eight. That eight. Eight, eight part runners. Of, and, uh, and, I, and I think we're going to run a few photos of, uh, of, of some of you all up, uh, up on the monitor, and uh, maybe you can just mention some of the other runners who are running. Off the or, top is that of my a bad question. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have three here. Uh, Diana Lynn has run before for us. She did very well. Uh, we have pictures of her. Uh, yeah. Mark, there there's she. Diana. There's Diana. We have Mark Nickerson, who's first time for us. Uh, that's there Mark Nickerson. Uh, uh, Bubello, Megan Bubello, and um, there's another one I can't remember. Oh, the Jeff Beeling. Yes, he's run a lot. Jeff is a very tall fellow. He's run before. Um, and I can't remember. Well, we may have a couple more pictures. There's Bree. Bree Cunningham. She's run before also. So mm -hmm. very, yeah. very excited. We're really into this. We want to help these runners. There's, There's Joe. Joe. We want to help these true. runners <coughs> raise so money. <laughs> They're very busy with their training. In fact, I think Priscilla is going to tell us a little story about her training experience, which has been tough. Do we have one more here. Oh, okay, there's, there's a, Leslie. Leslie. Who's that gorgeous lady? <laughs> yeah, she was with, her, with her medal, she must yeah. have won. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay. Well, I've got just some kind of general questions for all of you, and so why don't you all just pitch in as it seems right? But uh, you know, the first question is, why do you run? When, when I started running back in the Oh, in the dark ages, my wife said, you know, the only people who run are people who just rob banks and run away. <laughs> and, but, uh, you know, and so I, but, uh, I, I did run a 10K once, and I fast walk might have been a better term for it, but uh, I suspect you guys are a little better at that. But why don't you just kind of all tell me a little bit why you, why you enjoy running? What, what, what do you get out of running 26 miles? I can see running three miles, but 26 miles, give me a break. <laughs> Who's first? Well, um, prior to this, I was not a long distance runner at all. Um, I did the occasional 5K. I think I did a 10K once. And um, so unlike what you'll see all over in Team Framingham, I am not at all a runner. Um, so initially it started out as, well, this would be interesting. But then I went to the center at Hoops and Homework. And this is why I run. Um, the month of January has been really difficult. I've had. Um, started having some any issues and I had to spend almost an entire week uh, off my f uh, not running that was frustrating when you have that looming deadline right um, I didn't realize it was gonna be this emotional of an experience um, seeing everybody make progress but I would get out there and I would think of the kids um, so that's why I run that'll really force you to, to look at your why and that's why okay. I'm running okay uh, Leslie well, I started running initially just because I liked running. I love to run, exercise purposes, get out there to kind of, you know, clear my head. So I started off with five, 
five Ks, ten Ks, and um, I had a big birthday coming up, and I said, you know, I've volunteered for years for the Boston Marathon. Mm -hmm. And uh, some they want to run the marathon. So after I did the 10K with uh, my older daughter, I did the BAA 10K. I felt kind of motivated. It took me about two years to kind of get the courage. And I finally put my name in. And my name was actually the very first name picked out <laughs> in framing him. And I'm like, oh boy, no, I have to do this. And I basically started from a 10K level. And mm -hmm. with Tim Framingham from the Greater Framingham Running Club, I about 20 something runners I had mentors and every week we were out there people would call me up you know team up and mile by mile and I built we went to the team long runs with um, Mike Bauer organized and we had water stops you know people had um, there ton tons and tons of people even if you go on your own um, in Newton so when they, we had an off week I would go up to Newton on my own you know bundle up if it's cold and run and it makes me feel good and then of course with the charities attached to them it's like a win-win I right. love hoops and homework I actually got my number from um not from town this year I got it from my running club and I chose I could choose whichever charity I wanted and I chose hoops and homework last year and I chose them again this year so it's two years in a row I've actually chosen them that's great because I love the kids I love children I'm an educator so and I have children myself that's my great. daughter is at the high school so Yes, and running Joe, for children. What about yourself? Well, I think just about the same as everybody else. I don't know when I started running. Um, it was off and on when I was younger um, and ran the occasional races. And then, um, you know, I always wanted to try marathon running. I don't know why, but it always seemed, you know, it's always been around. It's part of the, you know, environment here that, you know, there's a marathon every year. You know, let's do it. So, uh, finally, I got the the um, lottery in 2014. I think was the first year. It was the year after the marathon bombing, and they and they uh, lottery them off. Um, and uh, I wasn't able to finish. I didn't finish because I got, I was I started. I was sick, and I made it as far as Framingham 10K, and I had to. You know, I was weaving and stuff, and they took me out of the out of the race and put me down in the in the cots for a little while. And it was very disappointing. Um, but I managed to run the Providence Marathon a couple of weeks later, so I didn't waste all that training. And then um, it took a couple more years of entering the lottery to finally get another uh, ticket to do it, and that was last year. And I was able to uh, succeed in running and. Um, raising money for uh, Hoops and Homework. I forget who it was the first time I ran, but it, this last year was for Hoops and Homework. Um, very happy to do that. Uh, very, you know, it's a very important organization in the town. My wife has been an educator forever and is involved in the, in the board and stuff mm -hmm. and running it, so. Um, but as far as running, I always wanted to run a marathon and, um, you know, finally got the opportunity and was forced to do it because I, it was yeah. there, and so like, yeah, since it's there, let's do it, right? Well, yeah, and uh, you get, you get uh, you committed to doing uh, it. You all mentioned this term lottery and, and having to get a, get a ticket, and, you, and, a, and I understand that Framingham has a certain number, I guess, that it's awarded by the, uh, by, by the, by, by the marathon uh, people that, that get to be allocated. Uh, Herbert, can, can one of you talk a little bit about just kind of how that comes to be? Uh, right. So because the marathon goes through Framingham, we are given a certain uh, number of uh, numbers, tickets. Uh, Do we get a lot of them? I mean, uh, we get 22. Oh, okay. So there's 22. And uh, people put their name in the hat, mm -hmm. and they're chosen. We pick out 22 people and some alternates. And uh, so it's, it's a very democratic. Uh, okay. so, so 22 nice. get selected. And then how did Hoops and Homework and then, become? <laughs> and then <laughs> these 22 people uh, are uh, sitting around in a, a room downtown. And the charities who are interested, there were 11 charities that got to give a uh, pitch to the runners. And the pitch is, Please run for us. That well, there was, was a lottery for the charities too, right? <laughs> That's right, 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 oh, really? yes. right. So the right, so the lot exactly. So there were eleven, as I said, lotteries, and uh, they picked five out of the eleven. And uh, yeah, so, and, and so you get to bring some of these lovely pictures, and, right. and some of the story that you told us be before, and. Uh, 
about what you're doing, and then and then you all kind of said, "This sounds like one that I want to run for." Right? He makes a great pitch. Yeah, he does. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and then uh, and then is there a maximum number that, that that you can get? You you said you had. Well, to... we could theoretically get 22, but oh, okay. that's, that's uh, the, oh, so 14 people didn't want to run for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but no, but seriously, that's great that you had eight out of that bunch that that's wanted right. to. And that's uh, right. So uh, let's talk a little bit. And so you all kind of touched on that in your backgrounds. Uh, well, tell me a little bit about, about the training that you have to go through. I mean, you don't just walk out there and, and run 26 miles for the first time. And uh, no. do you all remember? Well, tell you, let's <laughs> talk about that. And then I got a couple other related things we'll talk about. Uh, Leslie, you, you, you seem to be the most uh, <laughs> prolific at this. Uh, you, you've got a... Um, no, you don't start from 22. Most mm -hmm. people have run 5Ks before mm -hmm. or 10K. Right, but, probably but, a but, half. but, but now, even though you, uh, you, you know you have to run on April 15th or somewhere around there, what are you doing? To, well, to get first ready of all, I have a training plan I follow. And a training plan. Yeah, is that you, diet? Is that diet uh, as well? Just um, mostly um, miles, miles on your feet, as we call it. A lot so of stretching. You, lots of stretching, lots of rolling. But diet usually two or three days before a long run. I really change okay. my diet up to mm -hmm. like just what they say: pasta, water, keep everything simple. Mm -hmm. And we go out on weekends to do our long runs. And really? I usually start off from eight miles, and every week I build. They encourage you not to build more than two miles on a weekend. So sometimes I do one, so it will be oh, nine great. the next week, and, or ten, it depends. And you just build, and then we have two arranged um, long charity runs where we do 18 miles with mm -hmm. thousands of people starting from Hopkinton. So Team Framingham and Greater Framingham Running Club, we join them from Hopkinton and do the 18 miler. And then there's so you a, actually get to run the mar little. Of the yes, marathon like a mock course. marathon, yeah. basically a mock marathon. Yeah. And then there's and a 21 so you get to as do well. Do Heartbreak Hill in that? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. The 21 miler is in March, and we do that again with thousands of people. And there's mock marathons. There's a couple of police details, and there's water. There's lots of support. Mm -hmm. You can even have friends come and look at you. And once you do those miles. I think you have them in the bank, and you know you can and run that. And Priscilla, you, you just started doing this. The first time you had to do that must have really been a. It was eye rough. Opener. My first, um, so so it's uh, we all have training plans. Um, Leslie is actually my mentor, uh, so she whenever I there there's an issue, she's the one I kind of whine to. Okay. <laughs> but um, there's I, I'm doing a number of short runs throughout the week, and then the long run on the weekend. And uh, when I was having knee problems, the, the most frustrating part is that when those long runs came around, I couldn't tack on the miles. I was up to 10 miles when I never thought I could run that much. Um, and I, I was anxious to act, tack more miles, but uh, um, my knee had other plans. But it, it's very interesting once you decide to run the marathon and you kind of get involved with this group, um, a whole different world kind of opens up to you. And, there's the right shoes and gait analysis. And I was like, I thought you could just go to DSW, pick up a shoe, <laughs> or dicks, or, you know. Yeah, sure. Um, and there's equipment, and there's the goo, so much goo. And Joe, what are you doing for training here? I'm just about the same. You can't, uh, everybody's uh, you you know, have got, a, got a training shoes. plan, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you go and get the shoes and stuff, and it's not, it's not like the pictures in the 60s of people running in sweatpants and, and the old, uh, you know, tennis sneakers, you know, kids, right? Right. It's not quite that anymore. So it's um, it's a lot of preparation, uh, trying to keep going during during the week, and then running longer miles on the weekend. And in this weather, it's kind of difficult. We've already missed a, a couple of weekends. Yeah, that's because right. Of that, the cold. that can't be easy in New England. Do you, do you have indoor yeah. training places well, where you can, you can run use circles? And <laughs> yes. Some of the the YMCA has contributed memberships to the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the to the runners That's who great. run the lottery so that you can go and use their equipment uh -huh. um, uh, mm -hmm. for the training period. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe some other um, lifetime fitness in Framingham as well has contributed um, access to their coaches, access to their treadmills and stuff for the cold weekends, and they run um, a, uh, a fun run on Saturday morning and Tuesday evenings mm -hmm. for especially for the marathon uh, prep people. It's terrific people, to have but, all that support. Right, so there's a lot of support. Yeah, yeah that, you can't, so, you can't so, say there's a lot. So you've done these before. Uh, do, do any of you have any special <laughs> moments from past marathons, uh, you know, when you either 
Well, you probably had one the moment you had to stop in Framingham. Yeah, that was That sad. was certainly one. But I mean, like when you get to Heartbreak Hill, we always hear about that. <laughs> or maybe when you finally come around Hancock, around Hereford Street in Boston and come chugging past Berkeley and all the musicians out there playing music for you or whatever else is happening. Uh, well, just tell me, is there one? Oh, well, the finish, you know, the first the, time you finish. The finish, amazing. Right, right. That's it. Yeah. You know? yeah, just just right. getting to that point. I mean, that's got to be one of these hands <laughs> yeah. in the air. Oh and, yeah. 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 Especially because, you know, five miles, a half an hour before or an hour before, you're saying, oh, man, I'm just going to go over on the side and hide behind the bushes. And <laughs> it's so easy to stop. It's so easy that's to right. stop, isn't but, it? Yes, yeah. but in Boston, because of the, there's people the whole route. There's thousands of people. There's no way you're going to stop if you get that close. Right. So yes. uh, yeah. I'm sure that... Mm -hmm. uh, did you feel that, Priscilla, the first time you ran? Or? Oh, no, this is my very first marathon ever. Oh, no, ever. really? Yeah. Oh, this really? is. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. But I will let you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have you back with your cast. And, uh, with your my metal. cast. And your metal, too. Yeah. Well, but Leslie, you've done a bunch of these, so you you probably got a couple very, of these. Very, very emotional Well, you've done for three me. or four, right? I've done is three that? Bostons, yeah. yes. And Boston is, so, is different It's special. Bit. Boston yeah. is special. But, but yeah, so you finished. Tell me, walk, walk through a couple of them. I bet you've got some real stories. Well, my first one is still the most memorable yeah, one yeah. because you never, never forget the first one. Yeah. I think it was emotional from the beginning to the end. Like, I got to mile five. That's where most of my friends are. That's where I used to volunteer. So there was crying happening there, hugs, filling my water bottle, really taking really good <laughs> care of me. Um, that's and then mile six is where my family was initially. That's Framingham. Mile Framingham, six, mile the, six. Framingham you know, now is making big thing out of the know, mile six moment. My family is <laughs> there with my, and posters they made. I had no idea, so I, I definitely cried there. Very emotional, but very proud to like have gotten to Framingham and then throughout the route I had friends everywhere or just strangers. You know, my name was on my shirt, which I like, so people can call my name. I also put it at the back, so if I pass, they can still say, Leslie, go, because that, <laughs> that motivates me. Some sure. people don't want their names on there. I do, so I put it up here and at the back. And at 25, my family was there again, so they were able to take the train and meet me there, and that was maybe my most emotional mm -hmm. spot, because I then knew I was going to finish the yeah, marathon. Finish. It's right. 1.2, yeah. and you go down, turn on Hartford, that... The feeling is indescribable, and everybody who runs, I recommend if you can do long distance, should try the Boston Marathon. It's exhilarating. You get that medal, and yes, you like, I did it. And then doing it for charities even makes it more special, because while I run, I also have my family right at the back of my bib, so that motivates me every time I think. I'm like, okay, so they're there, and then I think of the kids I'm running for. And I, you know, I just feel you can do anything. You just. I think oh. you're all doing a great yes. job convincing Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not Leslie, Priscilla. Priscilla, oh yeah. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. Yeah, it um, <laughs> and I didn't know that there was a thing where people wrote uh, the names um, yeah, behind mm -hmm. their bibs. Mm -hmm. I um, month of January was also a month I lost so, one of my grandparents. Yeah. Oh no. So her oh, name's going to be in the back definitely. of my bib. Oh, yeah. that will help. All motivate. these things are going to help when you oh, really yes. say, "I can't go on." Yeah, right. That's what. Right. This all these things motivate you. Yeah. So do you, do you have any kind of a goal that you try and run to at this point? Uh, are you trying to finish in four hours or Well, two always days do, or? Get, do better than the last one. That's yeah. always my goal, okay. which I improved to almost 40 minutes from my yeah. last marathon to the next. And finish. And finish. Yeah. Yeah. And so this one is Stay just healthy. to improve again, just beat my own times. I'm only running mm -hmm. against myself. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. And, you know, finish healthy as well. That's the so goal. So the marathon is the, what, the second, it's a certain date every year. It's Patriot's Day. Third, that, third Monday. Third it's the third Monday yeah. in, in April. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's coming up. And uh, yeah, all of us that want to go watch you will go down to downtown Framingham. And, right. and yes. all the fun that happens down there at Mile 6. I know the downtown right. Renaissance people yeah. and amazing things and a bunch of, and the TV people have done. Access Framingham actually yeah. carries the, some of the race on TV. Right. Uh, so then uh, let's just talk a little about this fundraiser. Uh, what does one have to do to donate to this? I mean, uh, and, and, and how does it work? Do I have to pay 10 cents if you finish or 10 cents a mile or, or $10 a mile? Or, you know, how does, how does that work, Herb? Yeah. Okay, so these wonderful folks have promised to raise each uh, $3,000. Now, some of them have And gone. maybe we can show a few pictures of the kids here while we're talking about the fundraising part of this. And right. Re remind everybody again what this is for. This, this is for yeah. the kids. It's all yeah. about the kids. So the, as I said, they, and there's a, a wonderful picture with uh, 
the Attorney General, Maura Healy. You don't Healy. have to describe the, the picture. Just okay. uh, tell okay. us about uh, anyway, how we... Anyway, so the, uh, the deal is that uh, the folks, the, the runners, get a ticket, a bib, and in return, they promise to raise money for a charity. Okay. And the, the, the suggested number is $3,000. Now, okay. some of them have promised to try to get even more, mm -hmm. but the, the, the deal is about $3,000. No. And Hoops and Homework, the organization, really tries to help them. And we have helped, mm -hmm. uh, as uh, they can testify. Yeah. We get people that donate for them individually or as a group. In fact, a friend of mine I grew up with in Pennsylvania when I was a kid, I sent him the pictures of all the crew and he was so excited, he gave 800 bucks to be split among the eight marathon runners. So it was really, really nice. So people do that. And, and, and so do each of you have a special way that you're trying to reach out to this? As Co-workers, friends, are you doing anything with social media, or how does that work? Joe, you want to? Well, yeah, all of the above. There is, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything that you can use. Uh, okay. uh, we're emailing people. We have, um, we're using Facebook. Is a lot, mm -hmm. There's a lot of activity through Facebook. There's a lot of um, opportunities for local businesses to participate. We're looking for um, sponsors. Uh, there's, there's a post uh, banner program. Uh, on the uh, downtown, um, s the, there are new light poles that they put right. up with, mm -hmm. with uh, hangers for banners, and oh, okay. we're selling right. banners uh, for businesses that will mm -hmm. they'll mm -hmm. display their logo in the downtown area mm -hmm. during the period of the, uh, the marathon, up like a month before. Okay. Um, so if somebody's watching this on uh, AFTV, and they're really inspired, what do they do? They, they just send a check to Hoops on Homework? Uh, care of uh, they can do that for sure uh, the easiest way to do it uh, is just to put in a Google search hoops and homework Framingham it'll come right up it's the first uh, mm -hmm. thing that comes up and you can donate there's a button there and uh, that, can I donate to a specific runner or? and then you can make a note to donate to a specific mm -hmm. runner okay. or split it evenly that whatever pretty easy yeah very easy and right. I believe you can get to it from the Framingham um, dot gov, premium ma dot gov right. website as well. Okay, yeah. well maybe so we you're can doing, even you're going to pay your water bill. Yeah, that is, you know, <laughs> 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 that's a good way. <laughs> well, you all said that this was going to take forever, but unfortunately, the time is already up. I mean, we, we, we could have talked for about two hours on this. Uh, it's just so great that the three of you are. Uh, are making this commitment to run 26 miles, especially for the first time, <laughs> and, and 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 that you and that you're and that you're committing to a program like like Hoops and Homework. Herb Chasen has been an absolute star in Framingham for all of what yeah, he's done, yes, he is. and uh, mm. kudos to him and for all of what's going on there and all the kids that are benefiting from it. So it's been a pleasure having you on Fan to Fan this week. Uh, this is what sports fans are all about, and. Uh, and hopefully all the sports fans out there will all uh, chip in and find you on the find you and find a way to, to, to support this. So. Easy way to do it. Twenty six point two dollars. No, that's what 20 I do. Twenty six dollars and twenty cents. That's the way you can always do that. That's the goal that. for yeah. everybody. Well, well no. that's what we encourage people. Really? Well, yeah. You, you want kind me to do that right now? I mean, right now. For, right, right now. For each runner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, you, you know what? I don't have twenty cents. <laughs> in there, but damn it, I've got twenty six bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, and for all you people out there in, fan, in Framingham and anywhere else that are, that are watching this show today, thanks so much for, for tuning in. Please support this program and uh, come back next week, and you'll see more fun on Framingham Fan to Fan. Yeah.